Hello children! Good morning! I'm Teacher Leonor. Welcome to our virtual class. Before we start, let us have a short prayer. Read this prayer silently. In the whole session, I want you to obey the following online etiquette. 1. Be on time. 2. Mute your microphone. 3. Keep your video or camera on. 4. Focus on the teacher. And 5. Raise your hand if you want to speak. This time, I will be flashing addition praises. Give the sum as fast as you can, okay? Are you ready? What is the sum? Very good! Next, add the following. What is the total? Good answer. Next, find the total. What is the answer? Excellent! Next, give the sum. Great answer! And the last one, what is the total? Correct! Great job, everyone! It just shows how great you are in adding positive integers. Now, let us level up by solving a problem. Look at the picture. What do you see? She is Jada. Read the problem about her silently. Study the table showing the record of her savings in a week. On Monday, the amount of her saving is 5 pesos. On Tuesday, she saved 15 pesos. On Wednesday, she saved 10 pesos. On Thursday, she spent 10 pesos. That's why it is negative 10. And finally, on Friday, she saved 15 pesos. How much is her total savings in a week? You understand the problem? Is the problem clear to you? Let us find out by using the target language. Let us answer the questions chronologically from 1 to 10. Read the question. Can anybody answer? Yes, it's correct. Next question. Read and answer. Good job! Read and answer the next question. Very good! Let's proceed to question number four. Great answer! Please read and answer question number five. Nice answers. Let's move on to question number six. Yes, we will be looking for Jada's total savings. Number seven, please read and answer question. Correct. All the amount saved on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday are positive integers while the amount on Thursday is a negative integer. Next question is number 8. Please read and answer. Correct! We will use addition or the number line to arrive at the answer. Okay? Our next question is, How much did she save? Let us find out the answer using a number line. Using this number line, let us plot the amount she saved per day. 
Let us plot positive 5 as her savings on Monday. Since she saved 15 pesos on Tuesday, let us move 15 places from 5 going to the right direction. So, it will be moved to positive 20. From 20, let us move again 10 steps to the right. Since she saved another 10 pesos on Wednesday. From 30, let us move 10 steps to the left because she spent 10 pesos on Thursday. Remember that when you are adding a negative integer, you have to move into the left direction of the number line from your currently plotted point. Moving on, Jada saved another 15 pesos on Friday. So, from 20, Move 15 steps to the right side of the number line. Going back to the problem, we can say that Jada has a savings of 35 pesos in one week. Last question, please read. Looking back on the number line from positive 35, you will move 10 steps to the right side. So, your point will be moved to 45. Therefore, we can say that if Jada did not spend 10 pesos on Thursday, she will have a total savings of 45 pesos in one week. Let's have another example using Pibot for a module. Number 1, 3 plus 5. Using the number line, Plot positive 3 first, then move 5 points to the right, then answer will be positive 8. Number 2, negative 5 plus positive 8. Plot negative 5 on the number line, then move 8 points to the right. The answer will be positive 3. Number 3. Negative 7 plus 3. Plot negative 7, then move 3 points going right. The answer will be negative 4. Let us have more examples. Answer these exercises. All you have to do is to follow the directions. Add the integers. Let's start. Add. What's the sum? Good try! Without using the number line, you may observe closely the sign of the given integers. Since the given integers are opposite signs, subtract the numbers 12 and 13. As you do that, you may deduct 12 from 13. The difference will be 1. But you have to carry the sign of the bigger numeral. Since 13 is bigger than 12, carry the negative and the final answer will be negative 1. Number 2. Find the sum. Since the integers have the same sign, simply add the numerals. Who got 8 as the correct answer? Very good! Let's move to exercise number 3. Add the following. Again, the integers have opposite signs. So, you may subtract them and carry the positive sign because 20 is bigger than 15. So, what is your answer? Good job! Let's proceed to item number 4. What is your answer? Very good! In adding any integer to zero, retain the numeral and carry its sign. We're down to the last item of the practice exercise. Give the sum. What did you do to easily get the sum? Remember that in adding integers, that are exactly opposite, the sum will always be zero. Let's get moving by answering more exercises. 
All you have to do is add the given integers. You are given two options, namely A and B. Option 1, raise your left hand if the sum is in letter A. Option 2, raise your right hand if the correct sum is on letter B. Are you ready to get physical? Physical, I am physical. Let's begin. Add. Raise your hand. Very good. Next, add. Raise your hand. Good job. Add. Raise your hand. Nice. Keep it up. Next, add. Raise your hand. Very good. Next, add. Raise your hand. Great answer. You may continue answering your exercises using your module. Open your PyBot for a learner's materials. Your module on page 33. Answer, learning task number 3, addition of integers. Submit your answer to the learning task on the scheduled day of retrieval of the week. To sum up, in adding integers, you may use a number line. Move to the right if the integer to be added is positive and move to the left if the integer is negative. You may also consider the following. Number one, if the addends are positive integers, add the numerals and carry the positive sign. Number two, if the addends are negative, add the numerals and carry the negative sign. Number three, if the addends are positive and negative integers, subtract the numerals and carry the sign of the bigger numeral. Number four, if a positive and negative integer is added to zero, retain the integer and its sign. And number five, if the integers to be added are exactly opposite, their sum is zero. You understand today's lesson? Let's find out. Answer this evaluation or short quiz. I will be giving you two minutes to answer. Your timer starts now.
Let's check. Check your work honestly. May I know your score? Wow, your score is awesome. Congrats everyone. For another offline activity, perform this task. Directions. Using illustration to a number line, answer this problem. The rubric is also shown. Read the problem silently. This rubric shows how your output will be rated. Lastly, don't forget to accomplish your reflection for today. Let these prompts serve as your guide. Complete them to become sentences. Bye children! Thank you for watching! See you next time!